everybody. Welcome to another segment of Kiana's Fit Cooking. I have a question for you. What do you get when you cross fish and fruit? Who would think to combine those, right? Well, you get sesame crusted ahi tuna. Let's get started. I'm excited. All right. What I need you to do is I need you to first start off by uh, this watermelon right here. Okay. I need to cut it in about quarter inch cubes. Quarter inch cubes. Okay. I'll give it a try. Do I get a ruler? Or... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what are you doing over there? What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this basil right here, basil leaves. I'm going to be lining them up and I'm going to slice them in nice, thin chiffonade hair like. What's uh, chiffonade mean? Chiffonade means uh, like hair like cuts. Very thin, 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 thin cuts. Okay. What do you think, people? Is that a quarter of an inch? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so fired, right? <laughs> Uh oh. Well, I get an A for effort, and they are now triangles <laughs> and cubes. Okay. <laughs> it all tastes the same. <laughs> That's why you get paid the big bucks. Okay. Okay, so you slice the basil. That's correct. So, what we okay. can do is we can uh, put the watermelon back on this plate. Okay. Right and I washed my hands. <laughs> if you don't feel your food, you don't know your food. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, the chiffonade basil. To this that's watermelon. interesting. I would never th thought to add basil with fruit. The combination is absolutely fabulous. Um, then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt. Okay. Now, why sea salt, not regular table salt or kosher salt? Sea salt is a lot more mild and doesn't have such a pungency to it. Uh, like iodized salt is very, very salty. It's fine, right? Kosher salt is a little bit le less salty, and sea salt is more natural, and it's, it's a lot lighter. Okay, kind of and it's flavor. more granular, I can see. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm hitting up the pan, and I have some black and white sesame seeds here. And I'm going to actually dip the tuna, coat the tuna in the black and white sesame seeds on every side. On every side, just like that. Okay. Just a light coating. You don't want it to be too heavy. So there's nothing there, just the ahi and the, and the sesame seeds. That's correct. Okay. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil to the pan. Now, why do you add oil to a nonstick pan? to give it a little brown uh, evenly because the oil kind of spreads okay. when you sear something uh -huh. and it kind of browns the sesame evenly as opposed if you were to put it in dry the sesame would be more likely to burn because it's there's no spread of heat okay no, no, so the oil no spreads the heat I never knew that exactly. okay now remember ahi tuna is one of the least oily fishes and you can get it at any grocery store it's um, from Hawaii you've got the the uh, magaro the ahi tuna the yellowfin tuna and you can also eat it like sashimi, which I like. So while we have this pan heating up, what I have here is an organic soy glaze. It's made from tamari soy sauce. Okay. Uh, and all I do is kind of heat that up, like tamari right out of the bottle, heat it up, and thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch, just so it kind of gets a little body to it. Okay, so it's okay. not so watery. Exactly. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna garnish this plate. Nice little. Oh, look at that. See, that's the fun stuff right there. Yeah, nice little spread right across the plate. Now I'm going to take the tuna. I'm going to start searing it in the pan. So is that on medium-high? You want uh, it pretty you hot? Want it be kind of on high heat. Okay. So I'm just going to give it a light sear until um, the sesames turn golden brown. It's cooking just like that. Now remember everybody, when you're training hard, you're exercising every day, you want to make sure and eat lean protein after your weight training to feed your muscles. Try to eat the complex carbohydrates like banana or oatmeal before you work out to give your muscles the energy to train. So this would be a great post-workout meal. Right. I know inside you're just you're just cringing at my watermelon. <laughs> can I? I can tell he's like, oh, those it's aren't quarter like, cubes. Yeah, squares? <laughs> no, 
<laughs> so I'll just flip the tuna a little bit. If you ever come out to Southern California, meet, be sure and visit the Renaissance Club Sport here in Elisa Viejo in Southern California. This is the restaurant, um, Eldon's the executive chef, and this is one of my favorite dishes on the menu. So how long on each side? You know, probably about, about 40 seconds or so on each side. It's very 40, fast. 45 seconds, very fast. So this is great for busy people. Absolutely. And how many ounces is that piece of fish? Would that be one serving or two? This is about six, six ounces. Six ounces, ounces okay. Yeah. Six, six and a half ounces of fish. And I want to just kind of That turn smells it. so good um, with the sesame. Yeah, see how brown it's toasted. getting right there? That nice oh, crunchy and golden that. brown, it's beautiful. And as you can see, I'm searing it on, on uh, all four sides just to kind of give it an even. Oh, uneven. I see, okay. So you get kind of nice cooked tuna on the outside and then in the middle it's like really rare and creamy. It's mm. so we can take a little bit of this watermelon and basil salad. Who cut that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll place it right down the center of the plate. So that's the tamari sauce that looks like chocolate almost yep. underneath, okay. If you want a little heat, you can add a little bit of wasabi, which we have right here. Okay, oh I love that. It's uh, Japanese horseradish. That's correct. Very spicy. What we're going to do is we're going to take this tuna, just like that. We're going to slice it nice and thin. At an angle, too, I see. At an angle. Uh huh. Now, is that for presentation purposes, or does it make it more tender? Or um, I know with steaks, you have to cut them a certain way. For the most part, for presentation okay. purposes. Okay. I kind of like the, the fanned out look. Oh, what that we can looks do beautiful. It's just kind of, if you see the inside, it's kind of like perfectly seared around. And that was 40 seconds on each side? About 30 to 40 30 seconds. 30 to 40 seconds, okay. Perfect. That's amazing. Okay, and then what we can do, we can just fan it out. Lift it up. Right over the oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Add a little bit of uh, a little bit of wasabi. If that's your pleasure. And if you're concerned with portions, this could actually feed two to three people for your protein dish. Absolutely. And it's a very light, refreshing dish. Absolutely delicious. The soy, the watermelon, the sweetness up. of the watermelon and the, uh, the flavorfulness of the tuna with the sesame makes everything pop together in your mouth, it's awesome. Perfect. So there you go everybody, a simple and healthy meal that you can make in 10 minutes or less. For this delicious recipe and many more, visit fitmomtv.com and kiana.com. Okay Fit Moms, thanks for joining me today on Kiana's Fit Mom TV. Goodbye from the St. Regis Resort in Monarch Beach, and we'll see you next time.